An aircraft is propelled by a 4.472 metre diameter propeller, which produces 35.6 kilonewtons of thrust. The aircraft is flying at an altitude where atmospheric conditions are such that the density of the air is 1.03 kilograms per metre cubed. And we're told that using momentum theorem, theory, show that the induced velocity is 10.5 meters per second and that the final velocity of the flow in the far wake is 115 meters per second. Uh, we're to assume the efficiency of the propeller is 90 percent. Okay, so uh, let's, uh, let's look at this again and see what they've given us. So this is the equation, or these are the equations we, we derived uh, in a previous video, and in the question, we're given the diameter or prop. That's going to allow us to get the area S. We're told it produces that amount of trust. Uh, we're given the density. And we're really asked to calculate A. Okay, so we're not given B. All right, so we'll begin by... Uh, <clears throat> I've just stated here what we're given in the question, and we can calculate the uh, area S. So that's just pi r squared. The efficiency of the prop propeller is equal to 1 over 1 plus a, and we were given the efficiency of the prop. Okay, we were too, uh, told to assume it. So uh, it was assumed to be 90. So I plug in, um, sorry, I'm just going to rearrange that to get a value for a. And instead of 90, we use 0 0.9, and that gives me a value of A of 0 0.11. Okay, so using this equation then, we can rearrange it then to get a value of V. And um, once I plug in the values, so V is the square root of all of this, I'm going to plug in the values, so the thrust was 35,600, rho uh, 2 is just 2, rho is 1.03, s is 15.7, which we calculated, a is 0 0.111, and 1 plus a is 1.111. So that works out to be uh, 94.5 meters per second. Okay, so we're saying here that the value, the velocity here at this point is 94.5. But as it passes through um, the blade, okay, so you can imagine the air just coming in here, being drawn in. So this area is reducing, so the speed increases, and we call this the inflow. And uh, the air increases, just this inflow factor is a times v so the velocity of the air going through the blade at just at this point here literally at just at this point here is v plus what it what it has increased by v plus a v which can be written as uh, v times one plus a so the velocity going through here is v times one plus a. We have a value for a, we <coughs> determined it to be 0 0.111, so that gives me the velocity going through the blade here is 94.5 times 1.11, and that works out to be 105 meters per second, <coughs> roughly. Okay, so that's the velocity going through here. The velocity here was 94.5, and we were asked to calculate what is the induced velocity. So the induced velocity is just one minus the other, which is 10.5. Or we could multiply 94.5 by 0.11. Um, yeah, so I, I was saying that, you know, the velocity here, you know, it, this inflow factor is, is AV. So uh, that would be this induced velocity or inflow factor, as I call it, this induced velocity. Another way of, of, of working it out would be just to multiply um, the velocity v, which is 94.5, multiplied by 0 0.111, one, one, 
and that's 10.5 in any man's language. Okay, so that's that part of uh, the question done. Now we need to find the velocity out here. So to do that, um, the velocity here needs to be uh, to be determined, and <clears throat> again in in the video where we where we derived these e equations, we saw that this velocity v naught at this point is the average value between the velocity here and here. So the average is just add the two numbers together and divide by two. So if we read that, we will get, sorry, we will get Vs is equal to two times V naught minus V. So we just calculated V naught to be 105 here. V was 94.5, we were given that in the question. And when I do that calculation, I get Vs to be 115.5 meters per second.